What's up YouTube, it's Coach Corey and today we're going to do a state of the game video and I'm going to talk about everything in the past update, how the community has received it and what problems there are from the last update, how we can possibly fix them. Alright, so let's get into it. All right, so first off, let's go into the overall opinion on the update, and then we'll go over landscape mode, and then the auto attack feature, and then the joysticks, and then everything else like the UI or the brawler upgrade system. But let's start out with the overall opinion on the update. So first off, I ran a poll recently in the past couple of days. I put it on Reddit and a bunch of Discord servers, over 2,300 people participated in the poll, I asked five different questions. The first question I asked was, what was your overall opinion on the recent Brawl Stars update? Give you five different options, ranging from one to five. One was horrible, you thought it was a horrible update. Two was bad, three was okay. Four was decent, five was great. Now it should be up in the overlay or on the screen somehow. I'll put it up for a little bit. But this was the results of the poll. About a third thought it was a horrible update. And another third thought it was a bad update. So two thirds of over 2,000 people thought the recent Brawl Stars update was either bad or horrible, which is a really bad sign. I mean, there was a lot of negative flag just after the Brawl Talk. I think a lot of people were hoping, all right, well, let's try it out and play it. Well, this poll was done a couple days after, at least when the update was released, more than that. So it's people have had time to play it. They're still not adjusting to it. People don't like the update so far. And I think there's a lot of different problems that are caused by this. But first off, I do want to say that the Brawl Stars dev team is aware that there's a lot of negative comments about the update. They're aware, and I quote, they say, we're reading all your posts and very clearly understand your dissatisfaction with the update and with the control. So guys, they are listening. And I have shared my polls, all of these polls that you're going to see in this video. I shared them with the dev team. And they have taken a look and seen them. So they know how you guys feel about the update. So all we, at this point, what we can do is try and provide constructive feedback on how they can fix what the problems are. And then hopefully they'll provide a reasonable and timely fix for us. I know they're working on some fixes. I'm not exactly sure what those fixes are going to be. Um, let's go into the next thing I want to talk about, which is the landscape mode. Now, here's the poll on landscape mode. I asked the overall opinion on landscape mode. And again, this is pretty similar to the opinion on the update. Not quite as bad. You have a third saying it was horrible. You only have about a fifth saying it was bad. But you still have about half of people saying it was either horrible or bad. So not quite as bad. Some people like landscape mode. Personally, I kind of like landscape mode. Um, but I think a lot of people not liking landscape mode has to do with how slow the game feels. One, and my thing I don't like about landscape mode is I do think it's slower, but also I don't like how the long range brawlers, you can't see the full distance, but it's also a little deceiving. It's like the space is warped. I'm going to put up a Reddit picture that shows exactly this, um, but it's not quite the same distance. It's a little bit warped as far as your perceivable distance of time. So it's a little bit confusing. That part I don't like about landscape mode. But a lot of people don't like landscape mode. I was a little surprised by this. I kind of enjoy it. I like the strategy aspect to it personally. I like that you're not being surprised by people who are not even in the grass. They're just off your screen. I thought that was kind of, to be frank, it was really annoying. Um, I think it's much better for any sort of viewing, for content, for spectating. It could be much better. Those are my opinions. A lot of people disagree, though, and you can't discount that. But I will say this about the Brawl Stars team. They did say they're not going to switch to Portrait. Landscape is staying. So, guys, I hate to say it, but we're just going to have to get used to Landscape Mode, whether you like it or not. So, Landscape Mode is here to stay. Portrait Mode is not coming back. There are some other things that could change, though. And let's go into those. I think one of them might be... This next feature, and that is the auto attack, the auto assist feature. So I was honestly a little surprised by the results of this poll, but 85% of people said they don't want to keep the auto attack feature. Personally, I don't either. And real quick, let's go into why people don't like it. I think personally, it's just an, 
too easy. It's a no skill button and it honestly makes the skill gap in the game much less than what it was before. It's no longer, you can't possibly dodge at any point where you're having the computer play for you and it's much better for that to happen. It just takes a lot of the fun and complexity and skill out of the game. It's no longer feels as rewarding to hit those tough shots. There are no tough shots for a lot of those tanks and mid-range guys anymore because you're just spamming that easy button. All right, but let's go into some possible fixes. So uh, there's two obvious ones, I think. The first really obvious one is you just remove it, right? You just remove the feature from the game. That seems pretty obvious. Now that does create some problems as well because all of a sudden, now you really have to rely on the controls, the, uh, the attack joysticks, which is another problem in the recent updates. So that's got to be improved a lot for this to be possibly a realistic feature. And I can see why they added in the auto assist feature because the controls are not very good to be frank. So they added in the auto assist to make that a little bit better, but it's honestly a crutch and I don't think it was done very well because it's too good. Now, the other thing you can do is keep the auto assist feature but make it not nearly as accurate. So make it so if you're a skilled player, you're better off not using the auto attack feature. But if you're a really new player or you're just not very good, you don't play that often, you can still use the auto assist feature. Maybe it's not totally accurate, but if you're just a casual player, maybe you just use that and that's okay with you. But maybe as you start playing a lot more, you realize, okay, if I wanna get good at this game, I need to attack manually and get off this crutch. Um, and then you start going menu and that's when you get really in depth in the game. I think that's another possible way to fix this problem. It's just make it less accurate. Make it so if you wanna be really good at the game, you have to attack manually. But if you wanna be easy mode, this way the new players can still have that easy access. They're not being drawn away by the complexity of the game. That's not pushing them away from the game. They still have this easy access to the game. And then once they see how great Brawl Stars is, they start trying to learn manually and they want to get better. All right, but let's go on to the joysticks now. So starting out with the attack joystick, this is the pull on the attack joystick and it is overwhelmingly negative. Almost two thirds of people think the attack joystick is horrible, a one out of five. And then another fifth think it's bad, a two out of five. So you have almost three fourths of people really not liking the attack joystick. I'm in that camp. I think I gave it a two out of five. Maybe I might've given it a one. I'm not sure. Um, but it's, it's really frustrating to use. I definitely have to agree. I think there's some possible solutions in that you could change the sensitivity. Perhaps that's one way. That's a common thing to do in any sort of shooter game. You can change the sensitivity on your joystick and how fast it swings across the uh, screen. That's a possible fix. I don't know if that's a great fix. Now, the other obvious fixes would be adding back in tap to shoot and maybe adding in drag to shoot as well. I'm not entirely sure what the best way is. I did hear from the dev team that they tried tap to shoot and they didn't find it an enjoyable experience. Um, they thought your hand took up too much of the screen. But to be fair, the attack joystick isn't an enjoyable experience right now either. So... Maybe even though your hand covers up the screen, it'll still be more enjoyable because you can be more accurate. To me, in a shooter game, how accurate you are is easily one of the most important things. If you're not able to hit the shots, um, if you're not able to feel like you're in control of how accurate you are, it's never going to be an enjoyable game, I think. Um, and that's where Brawl Stars is right now, frankly. It's just not enjoyable to play those manually attacked shooters where you really have to manually attack and it's you're not consistently having shots go where you want to go it's one thing to miss a shot but it's another to not have the shot even go close to where you want it to be so i think that's something that definitely needs to be solved that needs to be at the top of the dev team's list is fixing the controls that's easily the biggest problem with the update i think um it's definitely a really big problem the next joystick the movement joystick now this poll was actually really positive it was almost half of people thought the movement joystick was great and i can definitely see why it's basically the same as what we're used to most of people were tapped to shoot which 
when you were tapped to shoot, you had the movement joystick. So it's basically the same joystick. So there wasn't much that was changed with that. People really like that. So it's not so much that they were wrong in that people like or don't like joysticks. People like movement joysticks. The thing with mobile is tapping on the screen is so natural. I understand the temptation from people growing up with console gaming and growing up with joysticks to want to have two joysticks. And you also see in a lot of other MOBAs and some other online shooters on mobile games where there are two attack joysticks and they were able to do that successfully. I don't necessarily think Brawl Stars has to follow that pattern. Tapping on your screen is a natural thing in any sort of mobile game. And I don't think that means that they can't do that just because joysticks is something that people grew up with. It might be more natural to some other people. I think they thought it was really easy to understand joysticks, but joy uh, tapping on your screen is just as easy to understand, in my opinion, for a mobile game. So I think the two things they could do is add in tapping to shoot back to the game where you're tapping on the screen and you, sh you shoot wherever you tap. I think that should be back in the game. That's one option. The other option is changing the sensitivity. Um, I think this would be a sort of like a band-aid. I don't think it would be good enough. I think it would definitely be an improvement on the current system. I'm not sure it would be good enough to be as enjoyable as it was before the update. I'm not sure that would be the fix. What do you guys think they should do? Because I think this is the biggest problem with the game right now is the attack controls. Um, so what do you guys think would be the best fix for how they should change the controls for the game? I think it might be the tap to shoot, but it could be sensitivity or it could be something else. There's definitely a couple different ways they could go with this. So those are all the pulls I had, but obviously there's some other features to the game they added as well. For instance, they changed the brawler upgrade system. It's now much more like Clash Royale. Now, my opinion on this, I was fine with the old upgrade system. Personally, I didn't think it was a big deal, but maybe I wasn't the best example as I sort of maxed my account pretty fast after... The upgrade system was changed. I didn't have much to do, so it never really impacted me that much. Now, I do have a free-to-play account, so for that account, I spent time upgrading some things occasionally, um, but it wasn't any fast sort of upgrade system. I do understand why they think it was pretty complex, because you did have about 18 different, or I think it was about 18 different upgrades, or 21 upgrades for each brawl or so. Overall, there was a ton of different upgrades and a lot of different choices. And I did find myself sort of saving my tokens because I wasn't sure what to do with them. And I wasn't sure what the, what the best place was to be. And I sort of saved them until I figured out what decision I wanted to make. Um, I do like the new system now and that it's 5% in each upgrade. It's Obviously very easy. It's just whether you want to upgrade a brawler you like or not. Do I like this brawler? Yeah, is this a brawler I want to upgrade? Okay, great. Let's make this brawler better. That's really simple. And it upgrades your brawler in every single facet of the game. Attack, whatever, all the health attack. So you noticeably better with that brawler. I'm not sure how I feel about the star power upgrade system. I'm not super familiar with that yet. I know that at level 9 you can get it in boxes or in the shop. Um, but it's not like my free to play account is really there yet and my other account is max So I don't have a lot of experience with that Let me know how you guys feel about the current way to get star powers in the game. I Think the boxes honestly they feel more enjoyable now I don't know about you guys, but I enjoy opening boxes more now It feels like there's more rewarding upgrades. It's not so much like oh, I got you know, the lowest upgrade. There's a clear lowest upgrade in the old system, which was 15 tokens. Now it's not so clear. It doesn't feel um, as bad when you get a low drop. I think the thing that you sort of try and hope for when you open a box is, okay, I want the power points for a specific brawler. And I want a high amount, obviously. And I also want a lot of coins. So sometimes you're not going to get the high amount, but maybe you get it in the brawler you want. I don't know. It feels a little bit more meaningful, or at least it feels less uh, negative as far as the drops. Now, another change was the UI. The UI, personally, I think looks really good. It definitely looks better than the last update. So that's saying something considering they had to change it all again. I did think that's definitely what they did the best in the most recent update was the UI. I think that is ready for global. If we even want to talk about global, 
That is one thing that I think might be pushed back is global since they have a lot more work to do as far as fixing their most recent updates. There's definitely been some problems that have been caused from the update, most notably with the controls. Some people don't like landscape. I think the pace of the game has changed and it's really just the auto attack and controls. I think those are the biggest things is auto attack and controls. To me, those are the biggest problems. What do you guys think the biggest problems are? And what do you think Brawl Stars should do with the game? What direction do you think they should take? I do want to remind you guys, let's try and keep the criticism constructive. They are reading our feedback. They read a lot of the posts on Reddit. So any sort of like caps lock post raging against them is not going to be helpful. Try and keep it constructive. Try and... Um, get other ideas going out there. Let's try and be creative with what we can do as well. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's State of the Game video. Let me know in the comments what direction you think the Brawl Stars dev team should go from the recent update. What changes need to be made to make Brawl Stars great again? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you later.